Good afternoon, Fed Heads. It's Jared Grillet here. Had a little bit of time to kill on this great uh, Labor Day weekend. Nice sunny uh, Sunday, waiting for the charcoal to get ready to uh, put a little hickory smoke on some short ribs. So I thought I'd uh, take a few moments. I've got a, uh, a uh, dreadfully fake uh, Partagus 898 here, or what it seems to be one anyway. Um, so I figured, uh, what the hell, I'll take some time, chop it open for y'all, and let you see uh, how bad it may or may not really be. I'm sitting here, ready to go. Got myself a com completely not fake uh, 724 here. It's about three years aged. And no, I didn't purposely set out to age a 724 for three years, but as we all know, if you've got more than 10 cigars, one of them's got to be at the bottom, right? So uh, finally got to this one, smoking really good so far. A little bit of, uh, here, we'll send you around to that. We've got a little bit of uh, Kansas beer here, some uh, Kansas made beer. As you all know, I'm a big uh, Kansas uh, resident. And so we're gonna chop open this uh, beautiful, not real Partagas 898. To check this out a little bit a little bit up close with this band as you can see this beautiful mirror like gold finish which is never ever found on actual uh, Cuban cigar bands uh, and if you can see I don't know how close you can see with the resolution there but uh, the center is off and uh, white on the shield and some of the other things is is not filled in correctly so the band is definitely uh, completely fake and so it was a distinct possibility, especially when you look at this wrapper. Um, all the veins have been pressed. Uh, the cap, uh, that's sort of a triple cap on there. I don't know how well you can see that. So it it's a, doesn't look terrible on the foot. We'll see what it looks like when we cut it open. But the band is outrageous. So we may ha have a, uh, Mm, who knows maybe a reasonable cigar here uh, Pardon the wind. I am outside cuz frankly, it's nice out here um, So let's chop this sucker open and see what kind of uh, Mess we got left inside first. I'm gonna slide off the band here cuz it does just slide right off um, now Let's see if there's anything else cool on the band that might give it away um, A lot of times Cuban cigar vans have uh, ring gauge markers on here or something. There's nothing on there. There's nothing on the inside. The the, the paper's pretty flimsy. I mean, not not like, I've, I've seen worse, but it's definitely fake. All right, I don't know if I can flip this around or not. Let's see, no, all right, so we're gonna do this the hard way. Um, set this guy down here all right so I'm gonna get my Zy car here and chop the head off of this I've seen some guys using using a knife why would I uh, dull up a decent knife and this Zy car is gonna cut through just as just as quickly and easily all right let's see what we got here I find an edge someplace. There we go. Here's some wrapper here. Wrapper's kind of thin, but it's in decent shape. There's a hole or two. Nothing too unexpected. But again, all of the all the big veins if you look at I mean it's got a good good Colorado color on it but all the veins have been pressed so that's usually uh, a get uh, it's often a giveaway but it's a pretty good pretty good wrapper not too bad all right let's check out this binder here squeeze break it open here a little bit um, one binder, actually a decent looking binder. Um, the only one real hole in there. Not too bad. Let's see what the insides look like here. 
Oh, we got another, looks like another bike there. Oh. Another binder on here, or part of one, which is not unusual for um, some Cuban cigars. Uh, we're getting a little bit of filler come out here now. It's got, mm, long. We've got some long fillers in here. Not too bad. Here's what's left of that partial. Well, it's a kind of a partial binder. Um, we got a couple of good pieces so far. Let's see what we got here. We got a lot of long filler eggs. You know what? This might have been. I don't. I don't. When the band is so outrageously fake, I'm not going to call this a real Cuban cigar. But you know, this is. These are all long filler pieces. I'm not getting a lot of the, the cruddy scrap like you would expect or oftentimes get. Got a little bit of junk in the bottom, but that's not unusual. So, well, this might not have been a, a terrible smoke, but frankly, when the, you know, when the band looks that bad, you don't fire one of these up. And if you do, um, good luck and good health to you. But as you can see, the... Uh, the uh, the pieces aren't that bad. It's all long filler. There's no scraps in there. Good looking wrapper. So you know, every once in a while you get one of these. It's actually a a perfectly fine cigar, but it's probably not Cuban. Or if it is, it's uh, not made uh, by Habanos. And the uh, let's face it, if you get one that is uh, with obviously as fake a band as this one had. Um, you know, you don't smoke that. You chop it open and see what it looks like, or you, you know, you don't smoke it though. That's not, that's not good for your health. So that was fun. Um, now I'll toss these on the fire and see how they smell uh, in some campfire wood. Uh, that might be fun. I mean, I'll uh, smell them up a little bit later, see what happens. But yeah, nah. Oh well, that was fun. Uh, have fun this Labor Day weekend. Have some beers, have some barbecue. Uh, have a nice time off if you get that time off. Those of you out there uh, serving in the military and you're overseas and you may or may not get today off, uh, thank you for your service. Uh, take it easy out there if you can. And uh, much respect to y'all. Thanks to all out you of the Fed Heads and Cigar Federation, and we'll see you later.